Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome back to my channel. It's been over a year now since I've had the Bartholin cyst and honestly, I cannot believe that I have not had a Bartholin cyst ever since I first had one. I'm gonna link the original video down below in the description box. So let's get into the update. I hired a holistic doctor because conventional medicine was just not working out for me. Basically my whole life and my whole perspective on life changed ever since I hired my holistic doctor, Sarah. I want you all to be aware that everything I'm gonna say does not involve a quick fix. And when it comes to sustainable long-term health, you have to get to the root of the problem. You really want to avoid these band-aids because you have to rely on those things for the rest of your life. And when I started taking the turmeric supplement, it just didn't sit right with me that I had to rely on turmeric for the rest of my life. I'm gonna walk you through everything Sarah and I worked on and what I recommend you incorporate into your lifestyle to hopefully soothe or get rid of the Bartholin cyst. And then towards the end, we're gonna do a Q&A. After about six months of taking turmeric, I started to think to myself, like I said before, man, I just really do not want to rely on turmeric for the rest of my life. I thought to myself, how fragile is my immune system that I have to rely on one supplement in order for this cyst to not come back. I mentioned to someone in passing the health issues that I was going through and she told me to see her holistic doctor, Sarah. So I was like, okay. And it was a bit pricey, but I, I'm not gonna put a price tag on my health. At least I know if I tried it and it didn't work for me, I knew that was one solution that I can cut out of the list. We worked on my diet, supplements, my mental and spiritual health, and our discussions unconsciously turned into therapy sessions, which really changed my whole worldview. It was a huge turning point for me, honestly. After unpacking my childhood traumas and seeing how that trickled down into my adulthood, my holistic doctor realized that the Bartholin cyst was due to all of the past relationships I was in. My past relationships have been pretty toxic and I was in a constant state of turmoil. Like I was always stressed out and not to get into too much detail, but I was so stressed out in one of my relationships that my hair was literally falling out and I was getting like a bald patch right over here and it was, it was really crazy. My past relationships involved a lot of sexual betrayal and she said the cyst was triggered by all of that betrayal. And honestly, my mind was blown because I didn't realize that the stress you experience in your life can manifest itself in your body. And then it hit me, I never knew how to heal from my past relationships or from anything that I've ever experienced, whether it's family issues or things that happened to me like i never really learned how to deal with any form of stress in my life and that was mind-blowing for me to find out and i never knew how to create harmony with my spiritual health and my physical health when you're stressed out you release cortisol if you are in a constant state of distress constantly releasing cortisol that will create an inflammatory response in your body symptoms of too much cortisol include fatigue headache hair loss, high blood pressure, irritability, acne, and weight gain. And I experienced a lot of that in my past relationships. I suffered from migraines, headaches, weight gain, acne, fatigue, and I would get these nightmares that I just did not understand why I kept having nightmares. The very first step to taking control of your health is managing your stress. And it's really unfortunate that no one teaches us how to manage our stress. And I'm not saying that you're gonna have a stress-free life because life will be stressful. What I'm I'm saying is you can coexist with that stress in a way there is good stress and there is bad stress for example stress from having a busy day versus stress from being in a toxic relationship there are certain stressors that you do not have to put yourself through we have to learn how to navigate around the stress in order to help eliminate a lot of health issues and stress related diseases stress is detrimental to your body and there are diseases linked to stress some stress induced conditions are heart disease irritable bowel syndrome, tension headaches, high blood pressure, Alzheimer's disease, common cold, obesity, depression, sleep dysfunction, neck and shoulder pain. These conditions occur when you lose absolutely all control over your life and the stress just consumes you. If you feel like you do not have a grasp over your life, you're constantly stressed out, you're constantly overwhelmed, I really strongly, highly suggest you figure out what's stressing you out and get rid of it because your health is the most important thing in your life. Learning what stresses you out, what is and isn't worth your time is really gonna help you with your stress management. Sarah and I also worked on forgiving myself for being in those toxic relationships and learning how to feel empowered for leaving those 
those relationships and learning from them. We worked on my diet and we worked on supplements that I was lacking. We touched upon my gut health as well because at one point I was really heavily relying on coffee to poop. <laughs> yeah, you should be pooping every day and I was not doing that. And if I was doing that, it was because I was drinking enough coffee to use as a laxative and to help me use the bathroom. I wasn't cooking much at home either and it was really affecting my gut health. I would have like the most rock solid stomach at the end of the day. I started to include more variety in my diet and make cooking a non-negotiable. And Because if I want to take my health serious, I really have to incorporate these things and really stay consistent with it. That consistency is what's going to help you see those results in your health. I, for the first time recently, have not had cramps for my period. Like I had a really tiny cramp where I was like, oh, I'm getting my period soon. But during my whole period, it felt like I did not have my period because now my hormones are balanced and I just don't cramp during my period. Like cramping is not normal for your period. I started to cut off relationships with people that just did not serve me and my happiness. And I was able to do that because I just stopped caring about what people thought about me. And I stopped caring if I was going to hurt their feelings because my feelings are so much more important. I started to listen to that little voice in my head that wanted to guide me in the right direction. It's called your intuition. <laughs> I ended the relationship I was in at the time. I cut off so many friendships. I was applying to nursing school and deep down in my heart, I knew it just wasn't for me. So I stopped that right away too. And I started to become my own best friend and truly love myself for who I am. And it's something that I've never done before. This transformation of my health like truly brings me to tears because I never thought I would get to this point right now. I really thought I was gonna live with this Bartholensis for the rest of my life and I would not be able to maintain a job because I would always be in pain. Big takeaways from working with my holistic doctor, have a consistent sleep schedule, have a consistent eating pattern, take your supplements and avoid ultra processed foods, drink enough water every day and consume electrolytes, learn to love yourself and forgive yourself and heal your soul. I have been working on all of these things and my cyst has not come back. And I even stopped taking turmeric. I take turmeric once in a while when I feel like I need that extra anti-inflammatory supplement in my system. And don't get me wrong, these are really big lifestyle changes, but it is so worth it. Okay, so now let's jump into the Q&A. Hey, have you gotten any cysts recently ever since you started taking the turmeric supplement? The turmeric really helped me deal with all the inflammation that I had in my body, so I would really recommend starting off with that and then incorporating all the things I mentioned slowly because it can really be overwhelming. This lifestyle I live now is literally like a 180 from where I was in the past. So do not overwhelm yourself. You will get there. You just have to plan it properly and you can do it. Olivia says, try using a bidet too. You wash all the bad stuff away, which can help cut back on showers you take. I use a bidet and shower once a day. This is a really good tip. Hi, I want to ask, can I use turmeric from other brands or should it be the same as yours? I would say you can use turmeric from other brands. I mean, just make sure it's organic and that it has the bioparin in it. Do you think a certain kind of birth control causes this? My doctor said the yeast infection I had a couple of weeks ago probably caused it. Who knows? I've taken like four baths and used heating pads and it's not popping. I also had a yeast infection when I had the Bartholin cyst. I'm really not too sure if it was the birth control, but I highly recommend getting off of any birth control medication if you can. The Bartholin is more prone in cold places. I don't believe the temperature of your environment matters. I mean, that could affect your body being in homeostasis if you're not taking care of yourself properly like wearing proper clothing but no i don't think that the temperature matters but i'm not too sure it could i, I really don't know how do i know if it pops? does it feel like regular discharge you know when the bartholin cyst pops because right away you feel like immediate relief and it's as if everything that was happening before like didn't happen like it almost makes you feel like all the pain you felt didn't exist it's pretty crazy no one talks about how deformed the labia looks after it's drained and healed it makes me feel so self-conscious about being intimate with anyone now i felt the same way because my labia was so swollen and like tough like rubber 
I was really so self-conscious and it would not go away for about like two to four months. It was really horrible, but trust me, it will go away with time. And don't be so hard on yourself too because you just went through something really traumatic. So the most important thing is just focusing on feeling better, eating healthier, and focusing on reducing that inflammation in your body. Ladies, it's not about taking pills and relax. The complete lifestyle change will work. Exactly, Sadie is right. It's the whole lifestyle change the whole reducing the stress, the whole eating better, reducing all this highly processed foods in your life, reducing the inflammation in your body. It will work, it takes effort, but it's so worth it. Is it safe to take turmeric capsules for pregnant? I'm suffering it right now. I would say ask your doctor, I'm really not sure. Muna says, update. My cyst hasn't come back at all. I took a break from the turmeric pills last week. It has been gone since the last week of August of 2021. I went through a diet change while taking them. I didn't consume anything that can cause inflammation to the cyst. I didn't eat rice, beans, spicy food, etc. that can cause inflammation. This makes me really happy because it just goes to show that there is a solution to this cyst and we can live normal lives. Trust the process, be patient. You will see a change in your health once you implement all these things into your new lifestyle. So there you have it. This is my Bartholin cyst update. I really hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, show love to your mind and body. See you on the next video. Bye.